Hi, uh, I'm Jeff Morris, and today we're going to talk about uh, the decision-making processes between deciding on using uh, BERT open source to build information applications or whether uh, an actual product might be more appropriate. There's really, uh, when we, we're choosing between uh, deploying something with the open source or with the uh, commercial products, there's typically four uh, top-level areas or variables that we're, uh, uh, we're choosing between. And uh, they tend to be things like uh, how we collect the data, uh, how we aggregate that data and the level of complexity there, uh, how we're going to present that information back to the end user, and finally, how, we're, how are we going to deliver that information to the user. So those four attributes are really the decision-making criteria we like to use to help determine, again, whether the BERT open source is more appropriate or a product from Actuate might be more appropriate. So let's look at uh, how we collect the data first. Um, when our data sources are fairly straightforward, uh, they could be flat files, they could be relational sources, um, they could be uh, you know, simple select statements. Those are really great cases for using uh, one of the individual uh, BERT products directly and avoiding uh, uh, Actuate's licensed products. When we get into uh, some more technically sophisticated items like integrating Java objects, or uh, building in custom open data access connectors for some sort of weird data source. Those two, on a because they're so uh, uh, technically sophisticated, those two are really great cases for using the open source. On the other hand, if we're looking at uh, commercial data sources uh, and we need the commercial data source connectors, uh, or if we're uh, looking to use a metadata layer, the information object layer, uh, those are great cases to uh, choose the actuate uh, product line. If we're uh, looking to do data transformations uh, in stream while we're retrieving the data, that also might be a perfect case for using the EII technology. Um, or if we want to use uh, some uh, uh, data caching capabilities to uh, uh, lessen the load of uh, data access against our server, those might be also perfect cases for uh, the actual technology. Our next item is aggregation. Uh, when we look at this, we start to re, uh, worry about things like uh, if, if we're using very simple aggregate functions that are built into the BERT uh, design tools, use the BERT design tools, the open source. Um, when we're looking at uh, building crosstabs directly and, and summarizing the data in the crosstab, uh, that too is perfect for open source. When we start to get into uh, custom reusable uh, objects and components, uh, that's when we might start leaning towards the, uh, the actual products, but still these are very appropriate for using uh, the BERT open source. And then again, when we're building custom Java objects, uh, BERT open source is wonderful for that. So our, we start to lean back towards the actual product line when we're looking to perform those aggregations inside the metadata layer. Uh, when we're looking to have uh, uh, automatic uh, end-user security or user-based security applied to that uh, aggregate, uh, that's perfect for Actuate to, uh, to handle. When there's um, a lot of parameter-driven values, your decision-making process there is going to be whether you want to uh, write those parameter capabilities directly in your application or you would like that automatically created with Actuate. And finally, uh, cascading parameter values are automatically supported in Actuate, uh, as are server-side EII-based aggregations, as we said, uh, mentioned a moment ago. So our third item is uh, presentation. And what I mean by presentation is, how are we, what formats are we delivering that information to the users, uh, what degree of interactivity is provided for that user to manipulate the content, and uh, what other sort of variables that user is going to be seeking. So here, when we're delivering regular web pages, uh, when we're delivering regular uh, uh, charts and, and uh, cross-tab graphics, those are perfect for the BERT open source. Um, if we're looking for uh, animated visualizations like flash objects, uh, the actual BERT design tools support those directly. If we're looking at uh, weaving in JavaScript to manipulate uh, images and manipulate uh, uh, pictures within or uh, graphics within the report, um, that's kind of a tweener. It's, it's an either-or situation where the uh, BERT open source is perfect for that as well as Actuate. When we start to look at things like interactive viewing, um, the ability for the end user to manipulate the content themselves, that's going to lean you more towards an Actuate product. Um, yet, if you happen to have really uh, custom-built uh, components or controls, uh, or you're embedding the report into your own Java application, that's going to lean you back towards the, uh, the BERT open source. And finally, when we're doing things like ad hoc reporting, uh, the BERT open source is, or the, the actual product is perfect for that. 
Uh, web services integration is a, a sort of a mixture, but the Actuate I server supports web services very effectively. And finally, when you're looking to access those reports directly through the information console or perhaps uh, using a thing like the Mashboard to uh, uh, retrieve those, uh, retrieve your, your dashboard information, the actual commercial products are appropriate there. So our final consideration is how are you getting these reports to the users? Um, when you're building for individual use, the open source is uh, perfect for that. When you're building transient report content, that, uh, that's content that's not going to live very long, uh, the open source is great for that. But then when we get into cases where storage is going to be important, that's going to be a case where the uh, Actuate I server is more appropriate. Um, when we get into uh, collaborative or progressive report design, and that's the ability for a collection of users to collaborate on a report design or uh, use reusable objects within the report, it's kind of a, a crossover point, whereas you can certainly do that in the open source, but it be, it's facilitated much more easily using the Actuate uh, server-based products, using interactive viewing, BERT Report Studio, uh, as, uh, as well as the, uh, uh, the Actuate design tools. Uh, so I tend to lean more towards the uh, Actuate I server for collaborative or progressive uh, uh, report development. And then we get into the, uh, uh, some of the other uh, higher level technologies like page level security, right? The ability to secure a report and create one report instance that in turn serves every single user who's interested in, their, uh, uh, in that report and have that uh, report secured on a page by page or section by section basis um, uh, as the user requests it. Um, when you're looking for uh, highly scalable systems, or when you're looking for uh, systems where you're presenting the content out through the JavaScript API to external websites. Both of those cases will lead you towards uh, Actuate I server based deployments. So what we ended up going through today was uh, in defining information op applications. Um, and information applications, by the way, can be anything. They can be a single report or they can be very, very sophisticated mashups. Uh, we kind of consider them to be uh, uh, all different categories of either reporting or uh, uh, appropriate BERT uh, use cases. We call them information applications. We've gone through today the four different cases where uh, you might be making decisions to use open source or use Actuate, uh, one or the other, and uh, uh, hopefully this has made the decision-making criteria a little bit uh, uh, more accessible, more easily defined. Anyway, thanks very much for your time, and that concludes our video for today.